So in this video, we are going to discuss one of the most important data containers in Bioconductor, uh, an old data container called an expression set. As the name implies, this is a data container for representing an expression experiment. This is a type of experiment where we, using either microarrays or RNA sequencing, have measured the expression of perhaps thousands of genes on hundreds of samples. So in an expression set, uh, the first component we have is an expression matrix. This is a matrix of actual measured expression values. In Bioconductor, we follow the same convention as we do in most of computation biology, where these type of matrices have samples on the columns and features on the rows. Features are genes or probes. Um, and this matrix this is a single matrix of numeric values. Each entry in the matrix tells you something about how that particular gene or feature uh, was expressed in that particular sample. Together with the expression data, we need additional information or metadata on the, on the samples. So that is represented in, 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 in context of a different matrix or a data frame in R, uh, where each row of this matrix corresponds to a sample and each column corresponds to a different covariate. So examples of covariates could be sample uh, six, it could be sample aids, it could be time of the experiment or date of the experiment, and other information on the individual samples. And these two uh, matrices, or a matrix and a data frame, are linked together in the sense that one row of the phenotype data correspond to one column of the expression matrix. We also have metadata on the genes or on the features we are measured. This is information about what feature is it actually we are measuring. So, for example, on a microarray in a gene expression experiment, we are not really measuring a specific gene. We are measuring a specific RNA sequence that represents a gene. So a type of metadata on the feature could be what sequence was actually measured and what gene does this sequence correspond to. In the same way as the phenodata and the experiment data are linked together, the feature data and the experiment data are linked together in the sense that one row of the feature data correspond to one row of the expression data. So in context of the previous lecture, we think of the expression matrix as really raw experimental data. We think of uh, the phenotype data and the feature data as metadata on the experiment. And all of these three uh, data frames or matrices fit together into something we call an expression set, which provide a tight linking between rows of the matrix, rows of the expression matrix, columns of the expression matrix, and the relevant uh, rows and columns on the feature data and the phenotype data. This is a very, very common uh, type of construction in Bioconductor that has proven to be immensely powerful. There is an obvious uh, generalization of the expression set into something called an E-set. And the difference between an expression set and an E-set is that we don't have a single expression matrix, we have multiple matrices. So what could that correspond to? For example, it could correspond to a two-color microarray experiment, where each matrix is a color of the microarray. Or it could correspond to data on, say, DNA methylation, where one matrix corresponds to the methylation channel and the other matrix corresponds to the unmethylation channel.